Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will solve the challenges in Flow Optimization Super Batch Unit. And to unlock this Super Batch, we need to complete all of these prerequisites. If you complete all of these, then the Flow Optimization Super Batch Unit will get unlocked. And to start the challenges, we need to sign up for the developer edition org. For that, click on this link. This is the form that we need to fill up. First of all, enter your first name and then enter your last name and here type your email address after that select the role as developer and type the company as salesforce or your college name anything is fine and then select the country after that type your postal code then set the username for this super batch. So I am setting it as flow optimize at the rate super batch.com. After that, verify whether this username is available or not. So we can see that the username is already used. So I am just adding some of the random numbers and again checking. So yeah, this username is available. So after setting the username, click on this checkbox and here click on the sign me up button. So we can see that we got the message like, please check your email to confirm your new account. And to receive the email, we need to wait approximately 10 to 15 minutes of time. So wait until that time. After waiting for 15 minutes, I got this email. So here you can see that welcome to the Salesforce verify your account. So click on this verify account button, here click on this reset password, here click ok. Now set your own password, then confirm the password, enter the answer for this security question and then click on this change password button. So like this I successfully resetted my password, so I am just closing this tab. And from this email, copy the username and move to the instruction space, scroll down to the last and here click on these three dots and then click on this connect org button. Now paste the username and also type the password. Then click on this login button. Here click OK. Then click hello. Finally, click on this yes, save it button. So like this, we successfully resetted the password and also we connected the developer edition or. So the first challenge is make updates to staff recommendation flow. To start this challenge, we need to launch the developer edition or for that click on this launch button. Let's see the task instructions. So here are the task instructions that we need to complete. Move to the setup page and in this quick find, search for flows. So select these flows and from this search for staff recommendation flow. So here it is, click on that. So this is the staff recommendation flow and we need to make updates in this. So click on this assignment. And then press delete symbol in the keyboard and also click on this decision and press delete symbol in this keyboard and also delete this loop element also so click on that and press delete in the keyboard so after deleting the assignment decision and the loop variable we are having this so here for the start element click on this edit button and from here just scroll down and for this condition requirement select it as all conditions are met and and after that search the field as favorite journal and select the operator as is null and for the value select it as false so after selecting these just click on this done button after that click on this get records so here just scroll down 
and remove all the fields which are available here and select the field name as journal and then for this operator select it as is null and for this value select it as false so after changing this field details click on this done button so after that we need to add the collection filter variable so first of all remove this warning so for that click on this and here drag and drop this collection filter element now we need to add the label so type the label as match and for this collection select it as books from get recommended books and here all conditions are met and search the field as journal for this value search for triggering contact and then favorite journal so after selecting all of these just click on this done button so we need to connect all of these elements so first of all give a connection from get records to this collection filter and then collection filter to this update records so after giving the connections just click on this save button so yeah the flow is saved successfully so move to the instruction space scroll down to the last and here click on this check challenge button here click accept here yeah, the challenge is completed and we got the 500 points now i am going to solve the second challenge in flow optimization super batch unit and the name of the challenge is make updates to book order count flow to start this challenge we need to launch the developer edition or further click on this launch button then you will be redirected to this page Let's see the instructions. So these are the instructions that we need to complete. So move to the setup page and in this quick find search for flows. So click on these flows. Just scroll down and search for book order count flow. Select this book order count flow. So this is the book order count flow and we need to make some changes here. First of all, click on this decision element and press delete in the keyboard so after that connect this start element to this get records and then click on this edit button in the start element just scroll down and for this condition requirement select it as all conditions are met and and here search the field as imported and for this operator leave it as equals and for this value select it as false so after selecting these fields just click on this done button after that click on this manager and here select this new resource for this resource type select it as formula and for this api name copy it from the instructions that is Reordered book count and then add it here. After that, select the data type as number and for this decimal places type it as 0 and copy the formula from the instructions. And after that, paste it here and also click on this check syntax button. So we can see that the formula is valid. After finally, click on this done button then open this assignment element just double click on it and here click on this add assignment and now search the variable as where updated reordered count and for this operator select it as add and for this value select it as reordered book count so it is so after adding the assignment just click on this done button now click on this update records and scroll down here click on this add field button so search the field name as reordered book count and for this value select it as where update 
pre-ordered count. So it is where update pre-ordered count. After adding the field, click on this done button. Now we need to delete this connection from update records to loop. So for that, click on the arrow and press delete button in the keyboard. After that, give a connection from this loop to apex action. So just give a connection from loop to this apex action. After that, click on the save as new version and here click on the save button. Yeah, the flow is saved successfully. And then we need to activate the flow. So for that, click on this activate button. The flow is activated. Move to the instructions. Just scroll down to the last and here click on this check challenge button. Yeah, the challenge is completed and we got the 500 points. Now I am going to solve the last challenge in flow optimization super batch unit. And the name of the challenge is make updates to create QA task for book order flow. So to start this challenge, launch the developer edition of then you will be redirected to this page. So in this quick find search for flows, then you will have this and from these flows search for create QA task for book order. So select it. This is the flow that we need to update. So click on this create records, just double click. Just scroll down and for this assigned to ID field, we need to update the value. So just click on this cross and search the field as group from get records for QA and then search for ID that is group ID. So select it as group ID. So after adding the value, just click on this done button. Then click on this decision element, just double click and just scroll down and here click on this add condition. Search the resource as book order from book order name and then name. So here it is book order name. After that, select the operator as ends with and type the value as 5 and then click on this done button. So like this we updated this flow. Here click on this save as new version and then click save. The flow is saved successfully so we need to activate. Click on this activate button. So yeah it is activated. Move to the instruction space, scroll down to the last and here click on this check challenge button. Yeah, we successfully completed this flow optimization super batch unit without any errors. Please do check out our channel Education Matters for next super batch answers and also module answers. And please do share our channel to your friends. It will help them too. That's it. Thank you.